Welcome back, my beloved viewers. I would now like to invite to the show a man who I'm sure you've all heard of. He owns more than 30 newspaper companies, William Randolph Hearst. Hello there, and it's great to be on your show. Thank you. It's an honor to have you here. Now, we don't have a lot of time, so I want to jump straight into the thick of things. You might say you're a successful person. You have a nearly 250,000 acre property with a house on it. Actually, Billy, can you, can you pull up a picture of that right there? Yeah, I would call that more of a castle, wouldn't you? <laughs> well, that is what it was originally built as. And yes, I would call myself successful. Very much so. And would you say you got it by entirely legitimate means? I'm sure I don't know what you're referring to. I'm referring to the very valid accusations that you published articles that were not entirely factual and were indeed engineered to gain public sympathies. I may have embellished a few details, but I can't help that if my paper provides the most interesting stories, people will buy it more. It just makes good sense. Maybe not, but at one point you actually said to one of your employees, who was currently taking photos for your magazine, not this again, <laughs> you actually said, if you supply the pictures, I'll supply the war. Doesn't that seem just a bit over the line, especially since those journalistic practices debatably caused a war? I said no such thing. There is no proof of that. If you look, I have not said that. The telegram was never found. And that's all the time we have, folks. We'll be back after a short break. As you all know, today is our special yearly episode, so we'll be having two guests on the show today. Please welcome Sanford B. Dole. Hello, Aiden. It's a pleasure to be here. Great to have you. Once again, we don't have much time, so I would like to just jump straight into it. You were born in Hawaii, and yet you were one of the main proponents, proponents of the Bayonet Constitution. You even helped draft it. Is this not a bit of contradiction? Not really. My parents were American. Is that how you justified writing the Bayonet Constitution? Where you basically took over all of the power on Hawaii and gave it to the elites, or Americans? I believe thoroughly in the westernization of Hawaii. What I did was good for it in the long run. You overthrew Queen Liliuokalani and virtually appointed yourself president. How does that sound like it's good for anybody except for you? It was good for business. If you stood to gain hundreds of thousands of dollars for overthrowing government, wouldn't you do it? Not in that case, because the money that you gained from that reduced the quality of life from the average worker in Hawaii by a lot. Come on, tell me you aren't taking the side of the workers. There are people too, and that's all the time we have today. We'll see you next time. I've been Aiden Becker.